Hello, my name is Una Lee in College of Life Science, Kyung University. In case of cartilage injury, cell regeneration is quite limited because of lack of blood vessel and low cell density. Therefore, regeneration of cartilages can get tremendous benefit from tissue engineering approach. And actually, limited type of tissue can be engineered in vitro, and cartilage is one of them. To construct functional cartilage tissue for transplantation, monitoring of tissue formation is essentially required. However, current monitoring methodologies involve destructive methods such as biochemical assay and histological evaluation. In order to monitor the tissue reconstruction non-destructively, the electrical tissue property is a good index to describe the status of tissue formation. And we found that different compositions of cartilage tissue can lead to the different electrical tissue properties. Hello, my name is Dong Yimu. I'm working in Biomedical Engineering Department, Gyeonghee University. The bioimpedance spectrum of tissue can provide information to estimate physiological and pathological conditions of tissue in vivo and ex vivo, providing diagnostic medical information as well as expanding our understanding of bioelectromagnetic phenomena. To estimate the electrical tissue property during in vitro control genesis, we developed a new design of bioimpedance spectroscopy system, which used the multiple electrode and localized electrical energy concentration method. We achieved the more sensitive to the typical region of interest under the BIS proof, and it could effectively eliminate the geometrical effect and accurately measure the tissue conductivity and its degree of anisotropy. In this paper, we report or measure the value at 1 kHz. We are going to research more the spectrum of tissue in vitro control genesis to show frequency dependent characteristic of cartilage tissues. Disc type hyaline cartilages were grown in vitro, and measurement was made just by touching the surface of tissue without degenerating effect. Natural articular cartilage shows structural difference according to the depth from the surface. In vitro grown disc type cartilages also somehow get matured and mimic those depth dependent structures to some degree. Many reports, including ours, show that in vitro control genesis follows some common path in terms of tissue complexity. In our study, the values measured from the top and bottom surface were consistently different during in vitro control genesis, and we propose that this reflects the tissue complexity. The speed of in vitro control genesis may depend on the culture condition, concentration of growth factors, and the characteristics of cells used. This BIS-based monitoring can help to identify the status of tissue formation just by touching the surface of in vitro grown tissue with arrayed electrodes. Applying those non-destructive monitoring methods to close loop feedback control might enable us to produce in vitro reconstructed tissue in consistent quality. Thank you for your attention and please refer to our research article for more detail.